welcome back to another video on Gearsoft Studios and today I'm going to show you how to build a clock tower because when you have a city you need some sort of landmark in it and this just perfectly fills that role tall and unique before I begin remember please like and subscribe and without further ado onto the tutorial here we have our palette and we're actually going to be using a gradient for once and that means you need a collection of blocks. I recommend black to white as you go up, but it's up to you. Just remember, you go from one color to another and try to not have more than 9, 10 blocks. I have a tutorial that I'll link in the top right. But anyways, we'll be using a gradient. Then we'll be using polished blackstone and white concrete, which I don't recommend including in your gradient because we're going to use that again. Substitute it with snow and some stair including block for the roof. This can be copper, weathered copper, deep slate tiles, red nether brick, whatever works for you. Then find yourself a decently sized area around 10 by 10. It can be a little bit bigger or smaller and preferably on the inside of your city if this is a city build. Starting off our build, we want to make a 7x7 or 9x9 square on the ground. It has to be an odd number of blocks. If it's even, then the build will not function at all. Albeit it's more decoration rather than function. And you create your 9x9 square out of something that's very easy to break. Netherrack can be instantly mined with efficiency 2 diamond pickaxe. And I think that suffices. Netherrack, dirt, preferably not gravity effective. Then, stack it up around 60 blocks into the air. Fill it all in, and then we can plaster our gradient on top of this. With your giant sculpture, we now need to divide it up into various sections. Since this is 50 blocks tall, we have 9 blocks here, and dividing that would get a non-whole number. You should round the height of your build. And, you know, if this is 50, we have 9, then 54 will do good. Which means, you take a little off your build, and increase its height. Then, once you do that, you should create a tower next to it that's an elongated version of your gradient. As in, grab your blocks. And, as you grab them, you just make a tower out of them. And make sure that each one is the same. Which means about 4 or 5 blocks for each block. The tower is now complete, and what we want to do is transpose what we have going on here onto the tower itself. Albeit this is quite a bit of work and survival, it makes it so much easier to build a gradient. Just transpose these colors here onto it, and that's why we have it made out of netherrack, because of course it's incredibly easy to break using a diamond pickaxe. If you don't have one by the time you're building this then, perhaps you have more important priorities. But otherwise, just start making your layer cake tower thing. Since we have our layer cake tower now, the final part of just blending these things in with each other now has to take place. Place down some scaffolding if you're in survival. If you're in creative, you just replace some blocks of the next layer with the one below it, and vice versa. And then, you make the layer above, replace parts of the bottom. And an example would be kind of like this, going less dense the further down it goes. And if you do this enough, then you have a gradient. With the massively textured rectangle here, we now need to add the faces of the clock on the top. And they're quite easy. You just need a circle, add some black concrete to it, and now you can tell the rough time. It's around 12 something, between 45 and 30, and I know to not do math on camera, but it would be about 37.5 minutes. Add this to all four sides, make sure all the faces are consistent, and then outline them with some polished blackstone, which should protrude one block outward. With this thing now actually telling the time, I recommend adding some extra polished blackstone to the corners of these 
and then just extending the tower all the way up. And once we got that seamless look, then we can start adding some support beams on the side, which will cover parts of our gradient. But the thing is, you don't want to just skip out on the gradient on those parts because, say, you want to make a design, a design change, then, well, now you're in trouble. Anyways, just add a little bit of depth, and it can be as simple as just adding some lines going down the middle. You might even want to remove the corner blocks right here in order to just make it a little less square. While you're adding your detail, and I'm right in the middle of it, so don't copy whatever I'm doing here, it very well could change. Experiment with just a lot of different things. These clock faces, we can see I've added some stairs, and now we have a different design. There's a lot you can do with this, and I recommend experimenting. Do you prefer this, or do you prefer this? It's completely up to you, and remember, this is your build. I don't intend for you guys to completely copy what I have here. Especially because this gradient is, well, way too much to copy. Just keep experimenting, and make sure that your thing doesn't end up too bland. With this tower having a little more depth to it, we can see it's gonna go somewhere. And what we need to do is just add the small details now. And that is mainly just a little bit of foundation work. This is as simple as adding a little bit of azalea bushes. Then go to the top, and you need to make all these areas a level. And that's quite easy, just grab yourself some stairs of your choice. And a lot of things work, I'm going to be using oxidized cut copper for demonstration, but it might change later on. Now we have the clock tower semi-finished. We got the roofs connected, we have the clock faces themselves just a little more rounded out, instead of having flat ends, they're perfectly diamond, well, almost as much as you can do. We got bushes, and the roof, well, is a roof. However, if you are not content with this roof, then you can tear it out, and if you're prepared to do that, then go ahead, it's actually a pretty good choice. Get yourself some slash fill in here, cut it out if you're using creative mode. And instead, you want to loop around it, kind of like this, where you have some blocks going upward. And you make a cube out of this. You do not need to fill it up, and you don't need the top or bottom. With just a block for a roof now, attach some polished blackstone to the edges, as in just replacing it. And add some of those stairs to the roof. Once you do this, then go up one or two blocks like this, and repeat the step until you get your desired height. I've tried out this roof design, and just a couple things to say. I do not recommend having a blackstone outline. It's a good experiment, but honestly, I just do not like it that much. If you like it, keep it on yours, but I personally do not like this style. And, you know, just remove those, and tr also try making this a little bit taller. Because you can see I only went one block above, so at this point it's only a slab. And, you know, that just does not work. So, just make it taller. That way, you know, it stands out a little bit more. Although it already stands out quite well. Now, we got the properly wired roof. And, just a small detail you can do, chop off the sides, just adds a little bit more detail. Of course, the roof is by far the most complex part, excluding the gradient for some. I know some people struggle with gradients, so, of course. And, just experiment with all those different things. Perhaps you like the outlines, but only on the corners. Or, you don't like this wire design, you just want to keep it the basic flat. It's completely up to you, and there's a lot of customization you can do with this. I recommend playing around a little with it. Once you've finished your roof, then this tutorial is over. We have a clock tower, a perfect spectacle if you have a city, or you just need some sort of point of interest. As it just kind of exists, 
doesn't really do much, we could definitely put a spiral staircase and live in it or turn it into a storage silo, but there really isn't much to it. If you're wondering what shaders I'm using, check the description. They're Sliders Vibrant Shaders on high mode. And otherwise, yeah, you'd now just have a clock tower. And with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And enjoy the rest of your day. Gearsaw out.